Alright y'all, it's been 24 hours. It's 9 o'clock now. We're going to take it down and see how it turned out. Alright, so I got some parchment paper. Um, this is what I use. Cut down your cheese. And all your parchment paper. Take your cheese out. Get some creamy. Start of your cheese pot. Fresh goat cheese. Chef. Please, my excuse my obnoxiously loud squeaky bird, but uh, I'm gonna get the chicken and move her out of the way and get all the eggshells out of there and stuff. And then when she's done sitting, I'll clean out all these five gallon buckets and put new wood chips in there and they can continue with their daily routine. So. A lot of people want to stick their hand in a bucket with a chicken in there, but I don't want my chicken tender, so <laughs> they're used to me. Uh, they usually don't give me too much of a fuss. Let me get her out. somebody's attached <laughs> all right so now I got this thing sectioned off into two different parts put a divider in the middle um, this is the one that the chicken hatched there is one two three four five six seven eight nine chicks and on this side is what I hatched and there's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. So, 17 eggs. Not too shabby. I mean, 17 chicks. Not too bad. Yeah. Let me turn off these heat lamps. Let them cool down. Can't have nothing nice around trouble. Now to show you how to deal with the pesky goat eating all your stuff. Terry knows it's about to happen. Squirt their butts. Now it's time to do one of my favorite things to do, and that is to weed the garden. I just can't get enough of it. Any chance that I get, I like to just sweat and hurt my back and pick those weeds out, baby. <laughs> Sarcastic, huh? Well, uh, when I'm weeding my plants, I don't like to use gloves or tools or anything. It's all natural with the hands. Um, I don't really have a problem with getting bit by ants or anything like that it doesn't bother me too much so that's how I do it but yeah you can see how all that grass is overgrown everywhere it's been a couple weeks this is the last time I've done it especially here grass grew a lot and uh yeah, so we'll go in here, we'll pull out all the weeds, pull out extra grass, making sure that all the water goes to the correct roots.
grass is cleared out of there. What you want to do. So, I actually wasn't able to do a bunch of video recording today. Uh, I took a load of gymnastics. She has gymnastics every Thursday, um, and I weeded this garden alone, and it took me three hours. So, uh, in between harvesting, what I harvest today, and I'll show you all that in a second, <clears throat> and weeding the garden, that took up all my day. But I'll go ahead and show y'all what, uh, how nice it is now. See if y'all can tell any difference. Uh, So this is what I harvested today. Cucumbers, potatoes, tomatoes, snap peas, some green bell peppers, uh, jalapeno peppers, and some habanero peppers and eggs. So, not too bad. Needless to say, I'm worn out. That takes a lot out of you, weed in the garden. Uh, you wouldn't think it would take any time at all if you just ran it in your head but once you got down and on your hands and knees and you're digging in that soil and pulling out those roots it, it really kicks your butt i don't care how fit you are and how strong you are i mean it's a lot of work but <clears throat> as you can see with the harvest i got today is really rewarding and uh, i mean there's nothing better than growing and forging your own food um, yeah um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Please uh, subscribe and and, um, and join our Facebook and, su and support us as much as you can. Uh, we need it. Uh, we're really, we're really holding on to this dream, and I think we got something really special going on here. Um, so yeah, like I said, see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Be blessed.